Hey Pocket NC followers, this is a video we've made that goes a little bit more in depth into how we made the engine block for our Kickstarter campaign. All of the tool paths were generated using Fusion 360 and in this video we'll be checking out several of those. Because we're using Fusion, we can first create and check a tool path before actually cutting material using the Pocket NC. The engine block made in the video was made from a large piece of aluminum. To prevent the tool from crashing in the program, we need to make sure that the stock in Fusion represents the material being used by the actual machine. The origin from which the tool paths are generated also needs to represent the origin for the five axes of the pocket NC mill. For more information on setting up the origin within Fusion, check out the pocket NC tutorials page. The first two tool paths in the engine block program remove excess material from the front and back of the block. To create each tool path, we had to select a tool, choose the orientation for both the Z and X axes, and adjust both chip load and depth of cut. Once the majority of the excess material had been removed, we could begin pocketing areas of remaining material. Some of the finer pocketing work was done using a 1 16th end mill. One of the last steps in creating the engine block was to drill out any holes that would be tapped. Thanks for watching the making of the Pocket NC engine block. 